Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Andy from hotsale-help.com and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Amazon FBA. Once again, stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. If you're interested in selling on Amazon, but you don't want to post the stuff yourself, you don't want to store the stuff yourself, then Amazon FBA is what you want to be using. All you've got to do is find the deal, send it to Amazon, and they will take care of the rest and send you some money every two weeks. It's kind of nice. It means you don't have to do too much work. They take a cut. You still make a profit. It's happy days. But I hear you ask, how on earth do you work out how much cut they're going to take from your profit margin? That's a very good question. I'll answer that right now. You would use a tool called the Amazon Services Seller Central Fulfillment by Amazon Revenue Calculator, currently in beta, obviously. With this tool, you can find out exactly how much Amazon intends to relieve you financially wise for each item they stock on the marketplace, which is a few gazillion. So why don't we do a little tutorial and see how that happens? All right, let's go. So we need an example. So why don't we use this as an example? It's the Marvel Captain America Avengers Transforming Dart Shield. I sold some of these a little while ago. They went really well. The reason they went really well is for this reason. Swing. The best seller rank is 2,193. Now, if you are familiar with Amazon best seller ranks for the toys and games category, you'll know that that means it sells very, very, very well. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots a day. Now, I didn't mention this at the time, obviously, because that would be silly. But I came across this product and for some reason, Amazon had stopped selling it. There was a little note on the screen here saying Amazon aren't selling this item currently because we're investigating some items based on the quality. They'd obviously had some feedback regarding the quality of the item and they wanted to check it out before they carried on selling it. That's very conscientious as far as Amazon goes. I applaud them for that. And it said, in the meantime, you can still buy these items from the other sellers on the platform. In other words, you can still get it from the FBA sellers. So this is a rare opportunity when something is very, very popular that Amazon isn't selling. So I noticed that and thought, they're not going to hang around. They're going to start selling this again pretty soon. And as it happened, I could lay my hands on a few hundred of these. So I ordered some and sent them to FBA. And they, <laughs> and they pretty much sold out within a few days. I've never had something sell so quick. It was very cool. And probably within about a week, Amazon was back selling this and probably shifting a few hundred units a day. But... For a very brief period of time, I got a taste of what it's like to sell like Amazon. Well, it was quite nice. But anyway, I digress. We're using this as an example. So what we need to do is take the ASIN, which is this here. This is the identifying code that Amazon use. I think this stands for Amazon Seller Identification Number. Pretty sure that's what it stands for. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will anyway. So that's the identifying number for this product. So if we go back to the Amazon Services Sell Essential Fulfillment by Amazon Revenue Calculator, currently in beta, we can use this ASIN number to work out how much Amazon is going to charge us. So there we go. Stick in your ASIN. And to be honest with you, uh, this search box, you could pretty much put in just the name of the product and find it. But I like to be precise. I don't want to get the wrong product and get the wrong information so the ASIN is unique to that product that particular item and that particular page so you can never go wrong using the ASIN and here we are as we can see it's confirming it's got a little picture there and it's confirming the name of it that's the ASIN we put in it knows the dimensions it knows the weight and what we need to do here is put in the item price Let's just call it $24.99 for the sake of argument. Amazon are selling it slightly cheaper at the moment, but just to make things easier, we'll call it $24.99. As you can see, once you put the price in and press go, you will get all the details. If you intend to merchant fulfill, which basically means store the stock at your own location and post them directly from yourselves, which is not using FBA, you can still use this revenue calculation tool by putting in the price, but then you have to put in your own delivery cost. It's fairly self-explanatory, but anyway, you can use this tool whether you're merchant fulfilled or whether you're using FBA. But basically, that's what you need to do. The only other thing I would suggest you put in Inbound delivery, this is how much it costs you to ship the item from your place 
to the Amazon warehouse. So for example, if you can fit 50 of them in a box and it's gonna cost you 10 pounds to send it, it's gonna cost you 20 pence per item. So in the inbound delivery box, you would put 20B. Let's do this. Then you can click on calculate again. So there we have in green down the bottom here are total margin impact. So if you're selling them for $24.99, you're gonna get 19 pound 10 for every item you sell at $24.99. Now let's just say for example that that item cost you £9.99 from your supplier, you're going to get £9.11 profit per item. Now if you really want to break it down and calculate how much box tape you used per box and the cost of one sheet of paper and one sheet of labels and things like that, you might be able to bring that down by another 20p. But as far as I'm concerned, that's plenty accurate enough to make my decision whether it's worth buying. And around about a £10 profit per item without really having to do a whole lot is pretty good as far as I'm concerned. It's not amazing, but it's not too shabby either. You're looking at near 100% profit, can't complain with that. So that's pretty much how the Amazon Services Seller Central Fulfillment by Amazon Revenue Calculator currently in beta works. So if you're looking to get started selling FBA, this is a tool you are going to need. If you are already selling FBA, then you definitely need this in your life. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Hopefully this has been of use to you. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Now, on the subject of Amazon selling, I have currently available a drop shipping guide, which will show you step by step how you can make a living using Amazon to drop ship your products. I've had a lot of great feedback about the guide, how simple it is to understand and simple to follow. If you haven't done so already, you can get that guide by clicking on the link in the description box below. It will take you to a page where you can get that email to you in just a few quick clicks. Check it out. I think you'll find it very helpful. Alrighty then, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Andy Lawrence and I will catch you on the very next video.